you constantly saw the same people being rearrested. The only difference was that you knew that, that person had a mental illness. Being able to be involved in a program that would focus totally on the mental illness meant a lot to me, and so that's why I was actually interested in starting a mental health court. Across the country, policymakers and practitioners are struggling with the high numbers of people with mental illnesses in the criminal justice system. This situation leads to great costs to public health and public safety and to individual lives nationwide. Over the past few decades, criminal justice and mental health practitioners have explored ways to work together to break this costly and damaging cycle. One of the most common collaborative approaches is the mental health court model. Over 300 jurisdictions across the country have launched mental health courts, and they are found in almost every state. The central advantage of a mental health court or diversion program is that you have better trained judges, you're accessing services that you might not otherwise be able to access, and there's a greater sensitivity towards the individuals who are in the court system. We wanted to look at the broad areas of people's lives that may be unfulfilled for them, such as housing, education, having positive peer supports, so that they could build a life that they want that was meaningful. Because we believe that will lead to positive criminal justice and mental health outcomes. It's all about being empathic and hopeful, because they have none, really. It's all, it's all been taken away from them, giving that person hope that things can be better. Developing a mental health court, an interdisciplinary curriculum, is the first centralized, comprehensive training resource on mental health courts. It also goes beyond mental health courts themselves to discuss key concepts for planning and implementing effective collaborations between criminal justice and mental health systems. Developed by the Council of State Governments Justice Center through support from the Bureau of Justice Assistance, the curriculum is available free of charge and accessible from any computer with internet access. Its content draws on the expertise of researchers, policymakers, and practitioners from around the country, representing over 20 states. If you are deciding whether a mental health court is right for your jurisdiction, this resource will help you gather the right stakeholders and assess your priorities and resources. The curriculum applies the latest research to key concepts in program planning, design, and sustainability, including how the essential elements of mental health courts operate for both new and experienced programs. The curriculum includes a variety of elements to teach and reinforce concepts. Each learning module includes clear learning objectives, online presentations, and reference materials. Activities guides provide a structured way for teams to work together to make key planning decisions and resolve difficult questions. A video case study is used throughout the curriculum to show how a real mental health court team does its work. Individuals or groups can use the curriculum on their own or guided by a trainer and can complete the entire curriculum or focus on individual modules depending on their training needs. The Council of State Governments Justice Center is also available to work with state judicial educators to customize the curriculum for state standards and training events. We invite you to explore this exciting new tool. If you are interested in improving your jurisdiction's response to people with mental illnesses in the criminal justice system, you will find this a crucial one-stop resource.